YouTube, what is good? Listen, we got a review for you today on the first left-handed clipper, the Cyborgs. Now, the first thing I want to mention is this clipper does come with the favor blade, which I do have to say that is one of my favorite blades that I've probably ever used, mainly because it's a mix between a fade blade and a taper blade, uh, hence the name, Faper. It also comes with a digital brushless motor, and there's a lot less vibration with these new motors. Uh, the strong point for this clipper is that it has both sides um, with the screw holes in order for you to put And, uh, you know, as far as being a lefty um, with the clippers, I feel like it's weird. It's a weird feel. I feel like the popularity of this clipper is not going to hit a high until you have newer barbers who are left-handed um, get a hold of this. Whereas if you've been left-handed, and you've been barbering for a while, you're not necessarily gonna switch up the way you, you cut hair if you've been doing it for years. So, you know, it's a cool idea to have, but um, I feel like my biggest issue with this clipper at the moment is that since I'm switching up my style of cutting and I'm using my thumb only, I feel like that paddle is, it's just a little too big. It's an awkward feel when I'm trying to actually uh, change where the lever position is, so. That's something that I think, you know, if they can switch out the actual lever on the clipper, I think that'd be a better a better option than having this big old paddle. Um, and again, I, I could be wrong, I don't know, but uh, I like to see other options for this, this actual clipper this way. It might be a little more comfortable for lefties to switch over. One thing I really like about this clipper is that when it's on, it actually has very low noise um, and also very low vibration. This is kind of how it sounds. I don't know how it's gonna sound in the video, but I can tell you where I'm at now. This is it's not bad at all. Now also the battery life on this thing is, is, is very, very good. It's got six hours of total run time when it's fully charged. Uh, it takes about 180 minutes, I think it's about three hours for it to uh, fully charge. You can do a quick charge in 75 minutes, which will give you three hours of run time. Um, so, you know, if you're cutting hair, keep it on the charger. This way you're always going to be at peak performance. You're always going to have battery life. And it does have a LED indicator of how much battery life you have left. Now this clipper is a full metal body. The whole thing is metal. Um, it's got a nice strong feel. It does say it's ergonomic. I don't see where that's, <laughs> that's actually happening. Uh, it's just basically like a tube. You know, it's not molding to my hand in any specific way. It does have a, uh, nice little clipper grip on it but that's you know if I'm back here where the clipper grip is you know I can barely reach the, the actual lever on it so ergonomics wise I'm not I'm not giving that a pass I don't see I don't see where the ergonomics are uh, it doesn't just mold into my hand it just kind of like I have to hold on to it kind of like anything else but you know I've seen some actual clippers that are ergonomic and they fit in your hand beautifully like kind of like the OG seniors uh, these these aren't it's not it right there no it's wrong Tell you what, though, the docking station is a beast. It's got a nice wide base. Um, the clipper goes inside of it. It's, it's nice and snug. Uh, you're not going to worry about hitting it, knocking it over. Um, so I got to give them, you know, that, that's, I give you credit on that. That's actually a good thing because I've seen some clippers that will fall right out. You know, we've done reviews where the clippers fall right out of the actual uh, station uh, or they're just easy to knock over. In case I forget to mention, uh, the clipper does come with both levers. There's a right, hand lever and there's a left-handed lever. So just thought I'd throw that in there. There is a full set of dub magnetic guards that come with this clipper, uh, which I, I really don't care for. I like the, the thinner, the um, the slim, that slim version a little better where it's the four guards that are the lower numbers. Now, as far as setting guidelines, I can, I move through that uh, haircuts perfectly. I had no issue, no snags, no nothing. Um, it took down bulk really good. I, you know, not, not the best, um, I've seen, I mean, I've had clippers that take down a little better, um, but they, they did a good job. Um, as far as the fading goes, I was able to get really good, really good fades with this clipper. Um, you know, that's not always the goal, it's just the good fades. Sometimes it's, it's you know, being able to get a haircut done quick, the way you feel with the clipper, the way it is in your hand. Um, but it did a good job. The, the fades came out flawless again, that could be because of the blade. Uh, you put that blade on a, on a piece of junk that it might fit on, you're gonna cut hair the same exact way. 
Overall, this clipper is, um, you know, it, it is a decent clipper. It has a lot of positives. It's just that the negatives, um, to me, outweigh the positives. It's, it's kind of a bigger, bulkier clipper. Uh, it's, it is not really ergonomic. Uh, that's just that's just my opinion. I do, you know, I'm not knocking the company because I think the company's great. Love, love Stylecraft. Guys, I hope you like this video today. You know, one thing I want to do is make sure I'm honest about all the clippers and reviews on, on different items that I do here. So I hope you guys do, you know, take this information and, and, and actually take it in and not just, you know, think uh, everything's all dandy because all clippers aren't made the same. Um, all, all, I, whatever you buy, you know, then everything's not made the same just because it comes from one company to the next. So there are things that are better than others and it's something I just, again, I just want to put out honest information whether it be good, whether it be bad, as long as you guys can soak it up and make informed decisions, all right? I hope you guys like this video today. I will come back at you with more reviews uh, very, very soon. So, um, you know, in the meantime, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next. Peace.